And we are live. Hello, hello. We're recording. <laughs> Episode four. Here we are drinking with friends. Christian Delgado. Go ahead, just, just it's Mr. Up. Delgado. Bethard. What's up? And myself. Why'd you Dominic. call him Bethard and you, you can't pronounce my name correctly? I'm get I'm I'm working through the kinks, man. Leave me alone. <laughs> Uh, we're here for another episode. We're excited. We got lots to talk about this time. So let's cheers to that, boys. All right, what are we sipping on today? What do you got, Delgado? Um, WD forty. WD forty. Word. What <laughs> nah, you I got, got I got your Lagunitas thing. If you're listening, you should know I'm already drinking a Corona. Corona. Man, I was gonna try to think of something funny to say after you said WD forty, but I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. So I was, I'm drinking uh, for oil. the first time. Say you're a little rusty. Oh yeah, and he likes to drink um, something new. I like I like this little what you're keeping up with right now. Yeah, I like to try to, to to you know get something new every episode. You know, keep it spicy. You know, spicy. Um, Elysian. Chick Fil A. That's probably sandwich. not how you pronounce it, but salute the sun, pale ale. Pretty pretty good. Um, salute the game brings of Elysium, right? And it's like, it's a, it's a movie, I think. What it's a movie? Of? Yeah. This pale ale is conditioned on a sun-dried it's black so line. That's what you it want says. me to read the fucking Corona light like, no, before no, no, you no, real no, quick, no. man? I just thought that was interesting. See their sales pitch on the no, side no, of this no. bottle right now? If there was a video of my face just right there. What are you doing, right <laughs> The guy looked over me and was like, what? What you is good? going on? I'm about to slump over Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold up. Grow up, dude. Nah, for real. This says experience by, which I mean, I would assume. Joe Rogan. You mean it expires? It, it, no, it says experience by, so I'm oh. assuming that is the expiration. 6 18 19. Oh, they're old. It's all right. Beers are month old. well good for being yeah. Uh, yeah, a month good. old. No, I'm not it's, worried about it's it. It's a craft beer, so it's like. Yeah. Drops dead. I'm going to just drop dead. <laughs> well, so, what's up, guys? Too, it's, so. uh, it's a Monday night. We keep recording these on Monday nights. Um,. Yeah, but it works, I out. guess. You know, it makes the Monday a little bit better. What's been going on, guys? What's new? I got some shit for y'all. I got <laughs> Roll it off, dude. Roll it off. All right, I'll start, I guess. I got a, what's today? Monday. Yesterday, I went and got a pedicure for the first time oh, with my girl. Man, Wait. don't even, don't even. Listen, you're a whole bitch if you're a guy and you hate on pedicures and you ain't never got one. Straight bitch. Don't don't fight down the Listen, mom. don't hate. Don't you know hate. Who's at. Yeah, meet me at the park. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> it's going down. Nah, that shit was crazy though, man. And I snapchatted the whole thing, my whole experience, because I thought it was. It was a TED talk. It was a full TED talk. A experience. full TED talk. Um, Have you ever got one, Bethard? No, and honestly, are you against them? It, it's I'm a not, southern thing. I'm not against them, but like from where I'm from. It's so fine. from where you're from, are you we're, are men the breadwinner too? Look, <laughs> Do you make the money and then yeah, come home? Where he's from, we we bail hay. We don't get pedicures. <laughs> oh, screw off. No, we got work boots on twenty four seven. We shower with them bad boys. <laughs> from down there, down there, no men don't get pedicures. There's probably not many salons down there anyway. It's, it's not anything down there at all. <laughs> you're in the cornfields. You're in a, uh, <laughs> in a, a garage highway. salon. Yeah, yeah boy. It. The corn you eat on your summer afternoon. It's like when you go to like your Puerto Rican barber in the shed because he's not at the shop today. Well, you say that. You say that as if everybody else does that. You do that. We don't do that. I've never I'm gone. just saying. But I know His you. His salons are in garages. So, so Bethard, Delgado used to send me Snapchats all the time of him getting his hair cut in literally like a, a Home Depot shed in the backyard. What? The, time out a second, because the haircuts were always fire. But yeah, on fire. But twelve out of ten. That's why probably f- infections well, inside your head. Was my you? boy. Yeah, no, nah, I was. I In mean, it's nice all good. But <laughs> just kind of clean Puerto Rican. What are you trying to say here? Kind of interesting. I'm nah, Mexican, but, so nah. getting my haircut by a Puerto Rican is like a step up. But that pedicure, bro, that shit was a game changer, boy. <clears throat> I like the only thing that concerned me the entire time was. Home girl came over while I had my feet in the little hot tub that they put your feet in. <laughs> and then she busted out this tool bag, like a DeWalt tool bag. He called the foot massager <laughs> a fucking a, a, was, a hot tub. It was a, called a little hot tub. It was a DeWalt <laughs> tool bag, and she pulled out like a scaffold. Yeah, no, I a got A cheese one. grater. <laughs> And she like that. when she got the cuticles, like when she had the side, it, it hurt a little bit when she yeah, pulled. Yeah, she like was the, aggressive as fuck. She was with aggressive it. as fuck. And she looked at me. She tried to I make made up a, for it with the with the massage. Well, nah. Like, so what happened was, is like when she got my like pinky area, my pinky toe area. Yeah, that's sensitive. I made area. a face sensitive area. I never gotten a fucking pedicure before, right? So she hit the pinky, and I was like, ooh, you know, like I made a little, you know, ooh, ooh. that hurt a little bit, right? 
and I'm already out of my Still element, with right? The market, huh? Yeah. He was nervous. So she looks at me. So she looks at me, and she was like, oh, "Your first time, <laughs> bitch." <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> "I was like, and now but you, you want to eat your first time in the ring? You want to be hands? No, 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 no. And I, and I hope that nobody took that accent insensitively, oh, but that's out. just what she said. Uh, it's how she said it too. Yeah, nah, but I was like, yeah, nah, this is my first time. And she kept asking me questions like, you know, I guess about the process. And I was like, man, this is your show. Like, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'm along for the ride and that's it. <laughs> I'm doing the music sound on and the this last show. Thing, like, the I'm last thing here. I'll say about it was, A, it was amazing. But B, when she had that cheese grater in my foot, they like cheese grated the bottom of your foot. That's the best way I can when explain it. When you got it. up, did it feel I like... I felt like... Hold on real quick, because I felt like the entire time she was doing it, I was looking at her, and I felt like I was at Olive Garden, and it's like, <laughs> tell me... Tell me, tell me when. Tell me when. Like you're hitting skin right now, <laughs> yeah, woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me, tell me when you got it, when you stood up, your legs weren't a little wobbly after like... Oh, I felt good, man. My feet, my feet shaking? felt... Oh, no, they weren't shaking. My legs were like... But I could feel them. They, they were loose, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's, what, that's my point. They were a little loose. You know, experience, going going off of that, what I've never got, you were talking about, like, the backyard haircuts. I don't know uh-huh. if they did it. You know the, the way they, like, shed. They, like, shave your face, but with, like, the single blade? Yeah, the straight razor. I've never oh, gotten that Oh, my before. gosh. You've never gotten a straight razor? No, and I've always wondered what it's like. Do you have go facial home. hair? Yeah. Okay. Go, I mean, I shave every day. What do you mean? You don't go to a real bar- barbershop. Yeah, wait, where do you get your haircut at? Please don't tell me U.S. mail. No, no, no I go to, like, Supercuts and just get, like, oh. a side shop. <laughs> it's worse than U.S. mail. Man, that's worse <laughs> than U.S. mail. But you don't need, uh, you as who you are, you don't need a fucking, you know what I mean? No, you but I've always wanted to experience, like, the You look the, good with the, the white, shop. the full blown. With the, yeah. with the 35 yeah. mid take him. We gotta take him to the barber shop one time. I think it would mess you up more for you to get that, like, Cause then I, never I can tell now that you don't get your eyebrows done either. You just They do. No, they just shave. They, they just trim them a little bit? Yeah. Also, no shape up. That's what my barber does a Listen, little I'm bit. Listen, I'm telling you. Yeah. No shape. No. Matthew, you get my, your eyebrows done well, once, you, man. We go to the same barber. It's going to change your life. Yeah. Which barber do you guys go to? We go up, uh, what's that place called? What's the shop called? Shout out. Um, yeah, we can shout them out. If you're in the Delaware area, Newark, Delaware area. I'll Alle- pull it up. But it's, 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 yeah, it's Allegiance. 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 Allegiance Barbershop. Uh, it's one of the closer ones that is like more chill than U.S. mail. Yeah, but next time one of you guys goes, hit me up. I'll go. Yeah, yeah. It's a good time. Um, you get your eyebrows shaped do up. You know you know you do you know what to say what you want? Do you know what you want? No, I've it's never done be, that. Bro, we're going to have to go with him and, and like, you know how the dads, you, you know questions. how the dads, it's like, like your first time out the, the bar when you're, when you're That's what happened when I was there. <laughs> when yeah, yeah, yeah. Snapchats, yeah. But there's a place, That's apparently, I mean, for the Delaware people, down in Middletown, that, like, when you pay, you get a beer, too. So you sit down, drink a beer, they do your I've hair. I've heard of that place. Oh, bro, you know I what I just thought there. about? You know how in, like, what's a kid's cuts? They have the fucking, um, like, the designer chairs, like, you know, fire trucks and boats mm-hmm. and planes and shit like that. Yep. You know that Kodak Black meme? Let me drive a boat. Let me drive a boat. I just thought about <laughs> if you walked in the kid's cuts, <laughs> waited in line, and then walked in and said, I can walk in Let me drive a boat. I could walk right up in there and, and pick up a pair of scissors, and nobody would know the difference. <laughs> no. I would just get the cut and... That's crazy. It's you know what's crazy to me too is like, cause like I don't know about you, but like, how often do you get your hair cut? If I want to be fly, that was like, a long. Hold on a second. Seven. Let me let me just <clears throat> acknowledge that long pause. Well, I'll it explain be- to no, my long pause. It was beautiful. Pause. It was beautiful. Go ahead. It was it was well delegated. <laughs> yeah. And elegant. His thinking I will say that. Well. Elegance is what we're well, about here. By the way. Craft beers and elegance. Elegance talk. Elegance, we're just it, like, it doesn't work. Like we're gonna that. be invited to the Met Gala. <laughs> Met Gala. I was thinking the White House. No, but how? Uh, how? Um, Maybe Area Fifty One. Yeah. <laughs> Stand by. How, so, how often do you get your haircut? Well, because I've been growing my hair out, I do it like I didn't get a haircut for like two months because yeah. I grow my hair out. But now that I'm like off of that, on average, two once every three three and a half weeks is yeah, pushing it yeah, three weeks at, yeah. Yeah. three and a half weeks is pushing it yeah i also like to look beautiful for all the ladies out there yeah. but see here's the problem <laughs> go into a place i get tired get, of shaping my own beard up too when you guys go to the barber is it like the same guy or like same group of people that no no, no it's the same to? person every time see that's see, the we got to coach him through this you yeah, know this yeah. is good that we're doing this right I have now one barber yeah we, i have this one guy that i've handpicked yeah, that's it, it. Hand like, i've seen hundreds of pictures that he's done handpicked and had to handpick it yo how much does it run Get he does yeah. 20 for us. I'm not going to put his yeah. business out there, yeah, but no, 25 no. for everybody else. Probably 25 for Dom. That's not that bad, though. He said probably 25 pay? for Dom, man. Fuck you. I pay like 20. Yeah, it's, and then it's, like it's, it's, it's like three bucks, four it, bucks. Yeah, too. it's nothing crazy. Yeah, see, no, I pay, I pay 20, 20, 25, but I give him 30. Because one, yeah. the regular yeah, cuts are 25. Bad. That's not bad, though. Because the cuts are 25, 
and then he hooks up with 20. Yeah. So I say, I'm going to double down, give him 30. Yeah, why not? You know? That's a good price, though. 30 bucks for like yeah, a legit. Right. thought we were doing like $50 haircuts? Yeah. We're going to have to, we're gonna have to do a live podcast. I know people that do that. We're going to have to do a live podcast when we take Bethard to the f- first real barbershop ever. First experience. We're going to have to vlog that <laughs> or something. And it'll be like a double promotion right there for my man Max. Yeah, dead ass. Shout out to Max. Um, bro, I. Uh, <laughs> I did want to bring something up. So I, I was watching some old school fights the other day on my phone. And uh, I was watching some Mike Tyson fights, like prime Mike Tyson fights, right? And I thought about something. How much for you to get in the ring with Mike Tyson? One round, one three-minute round. What would it take for you to get in the ring with a prime, I'm talking prime Mike Tyson? And he's trying to kill you. Well, I mean, y'all are in a boxing He's match. all hopped So, up. yes, he is trying yeah, to kill but you. Yeah, but... Prime Mike Tyson, yes. But he knows I'm not going to kill him, so of is course. he really trying to kill me? It's a regular boxing match. So really, you get KO'd in like the first <laughs> like two seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen the videos? <laughs> I mean, it, I'm just saying. Have you seen the videos? How much? How much? Yeah. For brain damage? <laughs> what For do you mean? <laughs> is yeah. a price on that? Like you would, like It'd you would like almost cash like, out my insurance policy. Like, it would almost not be worth. Like I don't even think I'd survive through it. I don't think I would. I'm too small. What, everybody's too small to that yeah, man. Mike, to that Tyson, beast. Mike Tyson's he's a heavyweight, so what is that? Like two <laughs> two 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 twenty plus or something, Ooh, something like, that. like that. Yeah, I'm I am i am one seventy. Yeah, nah, bro. I, I think if he hit me with a with one of those hooks, I think I would probably I mean, fly every, out. You know those T shirt guns at the <laughs> basketball games? That would be me after a right hook I'm, from Prime Mike Tyson. No, it would just be your head. <laughs> like your body still would be there. It'd just be, boom. dude. If you went full hard against you, pause, <laughs> pause. If if you went okay, full Christian, speed, you it's not sexual. And Mike Tyson fully hard, <laughs> fully hard <laughs> in a ring. I think. I I don't know, man. If it would take at least like a, like a hundred thousand. A hundred thousand. A hundred thousand. Bethard hasn't seen the videos. We're really getting up on him today. You're a simple today. man. No, <laughs> listen, listen, man. listen. A hundred thousand to buy two houses. Give me that cash. You're south, either that cow. you're either a simple man or you're confident. Listen, <laughs> he thinks because he weighs the same. This no, guy no, 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 moves no, no, no. full speed with every punch. I Yo. promise you. I'm gonna get the crap beat out of me either way. So I'm no, probably, you're gonna die. No, no, no. Listen, no, no, there's a difference between. I'm not fighting him. There's a difference between doing three minutes with Floyd Mayweather or Manny Pacquiao. And prime Mike Tyson. I get killed either way. Pri- <laughs> Mike no, no, no. Tyson had two fucking white tigers. No, because Mayweather Mayweather's gonna knock you out, but he ain't gonna kill you because he's only what a buck. He fights what a buck forty. Who cares what he fights at? Dude, they're he gonna knock fight Mike Tyson. He ain't killing. I mean, anybody. no, not Mike Tyson. I'll fight Mayweather. <laughs> not Mike Tyson. I'll fight McGregor too. Not- I'll fight both of them. You know, Dude, you know what would be crazy? I'll fight both too. of them. You, know what I- you think that they're crazy than Mike Tyson? Okay, hold up. Good guys, you're How off. much money would it take you to get in the ring with him? Mike Tyson? No money yes. in the world. I'll fight Mayweather or McGregor. No, so so you wouldn't, wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do Tyson. You're uh, he's actually no, I'm asking, you're so gonna no, die, though. right? If you could, what promise, is your life worth? Listen, if that, you could then. promise a million dollars, just a little bit of brain damage, you wouldn't. You wouldn't I would, but he can't though. I'd I'm have, have to, to say the videos for better. Yeah, we're gonna have to show understands some after Mike this. Tyson. He's gonna see Mike Tyson. Yeah. No, I've seen it. I've seen it. I would probably say, uh, I don't know, sixty nine dollars, seventy two dollars, seventy two. It's a day's work for twelve dollars an hour. Two here. Yeah, no, I don't. You know. <laughs> I gotta, you know, I gotta be smart about it, you know, right? So, the thing is, is like, I'm gonna cry right now. If I, I don't lose, know what you're so about, if dude. I say like a hundred million and I lose, do you have to pay that? Is that? Oh, I don't know. No, I, don't, just okay. I didn't set any stipulations. You set the rules, <laughs> but you're the one that started it. I was just curious. Nah, I was just curious because <clears throat> I was watching some Prime Mike Tyson the other night, and it was, goddamn, it was crazy, man. And, and there's a part of me that like wishes like I could have been able to witness that shit live. You know. All what right, I mean? so you two obviously would do it. A price. I totally do. Before we move on. What's yeah. your price then? Sixty nine, seventy two dollars, something like that. What's yours? It's up in the hundreds. Hundred hundred dollars? No. Grand. Mine would be I'm a million get the crap at least. Out of me. That's... No, you're gonna die. Okay. Uh, so the die. reason so the you're reason gonna die. How much is my life worth? The reason I said sixty nine to seventy two dollars is because I think I could last three minutes. I could I got a little movement to me, you know? I could hit him with a no with a it's not true. No, you're right. No, <laughs> it's not, fucking murder. That's like an ant punching a marshmallow. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't maybe, gonna do anything. Maybe. I seen some people that were semi s- semi pro and like, no. Yeah, I don't know. I'm good. Bro. I was just curious because it, so, it was a little it was a little tough talking, for me. Talking about battles, right? 
battle. Oh, yeah, talking about battles. Talking about battles. I want to talk about more of this. Anybody who knows me, I've kind of gotten into Reddit a lot lately. And I thought up this question. You like, say Reddit? Reddit, yeah. Okay. I love Reddit. I got you. Um, if the United States was in a battle royale, for people who don't know what that is, like Fortnite, um, who would win? By state. So the rules would be there's like some barrier that would close in to the middle of North Dakota, South Dakota, right? In the middle of the country. Well, so it would be like Fortnite, right? Yeah, yeah, but I don't think everybody maybe doesn't know that. So it would be like this barrier that's closing in, and if you are outside the barrier, you die. So you got to keep moving closer. And you got to kill anybody that's not from your state would be yeah what that is okay. Um, I mean, I already got my answer locked in, and it's too easy. I don't even. This isn't even well, yeah. worth talking about. What's, what's your what answer? about the aliens from Nevada? You can put the aliens up. You can put the aliens from Nevada against the people I'm about. So to t- are you putting the second. people from Florida up against Mike Tyson? I mean, the people from Florida. <laughs> listen, bro, bro, listen. First of all, let me just say I don't want to bring up Area 51 again, but. If we just send the whole state of Florida to Nevada for Area 51, <laughs> we're in there like swimwear, dog. <laughs> They're bringing their gators. I'm talking about orangutans. Anacondas. I'm talking anacondas. They're messed up alligators. That's it. That's all it is. Nah, Did if- you see the one where the guy named his pet squirrel... Uh- Dick or something? He named it something crazy, and the cops, <laughs> the cops came to his house because it's illegal to have pet squirrels. Just for that, found him methed out, and he was feeding his pet squirrel meth. It's, a, it's like a dude. It's like a thing that blew now, up wait in the a United States. Like Guess, a what Guess what state? Guess what state? What Florida? No, obviously. That's that's a game we should start playing. You know what? Guess what state? Guess the state Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna start a new segment right now. Every week we're Guess gonna do state. Guess what state? At every state, That's every every, every time, it's gonna be Florida. Okay, so it's not, I don't know about it'll be news time, from maybe. Florida every fucking week. Hey, right, so who do you think is gonna win the battle royale? Florida. Oh, That's Florida. Okay. I, yeah. I'm I'm fully in on Virginia. I'm Did, fully in on, on Texas. Christian. I, and, and and my girlfriend also said Texas, and I'm weird because that's the most state where people are most pride to bear arms. But you gotta understand, my family's from Texas and South. So you know, like it's split up. And the bottom, it's like it's a lot of Hispanic people because I'm Mexican and no. there's a lot of Hispanic people. Yes, I'm a lot. dirty, Dan. I'm. D- <laughs> How are you trying to argue me there? No, no, so no. you're right, but the amount of people that there that are like, yeah, oh, but... bear arms. I think there's more people. Okay, but Virginia has a lot this? of okay. veterans. Let's think about let's think about somebody from Texas. Uh, I don't know some old dude with a handlebar mustache. What about Detroit mustache. though? Hold yes, on a second. You Michigan. pick pick your best Texan right now. Ready? Go ahead, pick one. Some, Dirty Dan. Describe one. Dirty Dan. All right, some old dude, handlebar mustache, the right to bear he arms. Can be right? Anybody? Sure. In a Fastest pistol hand in Fastest the West. Right. In the West. <laughs> exactly. Okay, that ain't gonna be no match for homeboy on the highway in Florida, in Central Florida, who just snorted bath salts the whole <laughs> but he's past an easy six kill. hours. Easy kill. He doesn't kill. know what's going on. Man, So stop. these people that are snorting bath salts are like, they're trained to kill too? Yeah, but not if you're from Florida. That's what I'm asking you. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're trained to kill. Salt. Well, if you're from Is that Florida. The incentive? If you're from Florida and you, they're and you snore bath salts. They're like bath zombies. Salts. I don't know. Jesus Christ! Maybe it's just a bunch of high people waiting to die in Florida. That is an interesting question. Hold on, before we get too fucking far into talking about just one state, a battle royale in the country. Did you got to think about Michigan too and Chicago? Those are also big cities. A lot of people. But you got to think of the people. How about this? Who do we think would? Who do we think? You're talking about about this old guy that sits on his porch that has a couple guns that no one's ever tested. You're talking about people in the hood from Detroit and Chicago that are out there. Shooting yeah, up every have, day. Okay, think of like their they experience. Have Uzis, think of, think they of have their experience versus someone with a sniper rifle up on a hill. You're not even gonna see them. Yeah, but it's ending in North Dakota. Let, let's say about them Texas people going to the city. Hold on a second. Where they have no experience. Hold on a second. How about this? How about this? So, Who do we think would be the first state out Delaware? Oh, really? Or Maine? Jersey. Maine, Maine because well, I think, no, no, because no, no, Maine no. has Hawaii. to go through Connecticut. Hawaii. Yeah, they or can't Alaska. make it to us. Is Hawaii included in this? No, yeah. I wouldn't even consider. Oh, them. we just doing continental. No, yeah, just do continental. Yeah, because they gotta they gotta get on a boat and come over <laughs> here. <laughs> it's just not. It ain't even worth it. Them. Yeah, no, they might <laughs> as well just stay, just stay out of it. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, Hawaii, we'll free Italy. Well. We'll watch. Nah. Okay, so uh, who would you want to win? If we didn't have any stakes in it for being in Delaware, who would you want to win the battle royale of the United States? I love to see like. Who's like, your number one? Pick? Like Utah. Like. <laughs> yeah, or like Connecticut, like some like something like random. Connecticut, the most rich people. All right, in how about who? What's our, who do we want to go Those first? Fucking bombs. First, oh, first. to get Florida. out first, Louisiana. 
a lot of bayous down there. I'm I not think, for that. No, I think like I don't like Gators. I got another easy answer. Go I think ahead. like Tennessee would be out first. Wow, like, you guys are anything in the um, middle. No, I'm saying stuff in the what middle. Are you people that would come. Down. What am I thinking? The yeah. worst state in the entire country, New Jersey. I what fucking hate Jersey. Who, who, man, New, New Jersey. Jersey doesn't like New Jersey. That's true. Facts. It's true. God damn, that place. Talk, New, talking about that. New you Jersey ever, and Florida, have man. Have you ever seen the people that are still living in the 2000s? Like the long shirts and like like super baggy jeans. I think they look like a, they look like a 2000s music video. Okay. You ever see the fucking people that still wear those black baggy pants with all the chains going up and down? I'm like, <laughs> oh, they never got out of the middle school phase. You ever see that? You ever see? Okay, the, his is more relatable than mine. I'm <laughs> driving down the road and I'm seeing somebody. No, I think no, I feel you. I feel you. They're wearing like but, a pair of shorts underneath the jeans with the boxers, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's each sagged at a different. With would have been acceptable in the 2000s. <laughs> what I'm saying is though, is you ever see? Uh, you know that bridge in France? I think it is. With all the locks on yeah, it, yeah. that's oh, what those yeah. pants remind they me. They fall in the way like every day. <laughs> yeah, that is true. I never yeah. thought about that. Yeah, that you is. guys are fucking fangirling each other so hard right now. Damn, it's cute. I'm you sorry. Guys take each other on a date. I just got. I well, got... no, because I'm getting I'm getting left out over here because you guys both you know Man, he plays the drums, a, he plays the guitar. Was, like you guys are relating real hard right now about this I emo stage. Yeah, I was this agreeing with you, man. The baggy jeans, like <laughs> especially when yo, especially when they got that white T-shirt on with it. It's always in that's like a triple XL. XL. <laughs> yeah, you got from the cigarette store. I've seen them in there, man. I've seen those shirts in there. Those yeah. in a pack of Newports. <laughs> and camel crushes. Monster oh named my Kyle. God, Jesus. Yeah, no, I think I think uh, Jersey would be the first to be out. Although I don't think that. De- to be fair, I don't think Delaware would make it very far either. No, I mean we have a lot of guns and stuff, but. Surrounded. I think the Midwest is gonna win. Any, I don't know what state, but I think the Midwest would have it. No, nah, because we could still end. we could still go through the mountains of like PA, and we could sl- we could slide through a little bit there. Yeah, but a mountain in Virginia PA has nothing has nothing on a mountain Colorado though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's ending in like the middle of the country, so they're gonna have to keep moving eventually. I'm just saying we can slide through like three states woods before we really are like. Yeah. Yeah. Only one person from Delaware has to win, man. <laughs> we only need sure. one person. That's true. Yeah. Right, um, right, right on the edge of the circle. Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's interesting that. to think about. Um, we should get some feedback. Anybody that's listening that wants to send us some feedback on which state you think would win the I would battle love royale, NY. and which and why? It's, like, it's like a it's like a test. And You're which state you think would be out first, and why? What, what would they say on tests? What, 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 what's that question when they ask you a question on tests, and you gotta like explain your answer? Yeah, explain your answer. <laughs> that's that question. And tell me why. Answer. It's always a math problem that you get. It's like, and why did you come up with this? Like. Because I did the math. It's Be- right there in front of your face. Because. It's right there in front of your face. Because the book said it. You know, I used to... When you I, taught me it, and now you test me on it, and you're going to ask me why. When I was in school... I did exactly what you said. I uh, I used to... Do, like you Because know, you, you would... The way that they did it, it would be like you put your. It would be the question, and you put your answer under it, and then under that would be the short answer, almost like it would be like explain your explain answer. Your answer. Mm. And I would always answer the question because I would cheat or something, <laughs> and then I wouldn't explain it because. So it was I to can't. find you, and I was over here doing the royalty, and not wanting to explain my answer, and you just didn't want to because you ain't know. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I, I didn't explain my answer because I didn't know. And they give you, they give you like half credit for yeah. it. Yeah, or or like they would eight, eventually. Eight I had a teacher that caught on to it. I'm like this motherfucker doesn't know what he's talking about. So she started giving me like no credit for the question, and I'm like, I How did you see it right. over like some of your classmates' shoulders though? How with did your, I? With your height deficit. So what you do, <laughs> what I would do is, is I would put my my legs under my thighs, and kind of and kind of sit up that way. Like that you know ass? how like you the you know how like the slutty girl, the mean girl, sits in her chair and like sticks her butt out. Look like she's been dicked down by fifteen guys. That's Jesus Christ. Hey, mom. You ever seen the meme? You ever seen the meme where like the girl's driving? And she, oh my the goodness. Girl, you ever, I know you guys have seen the meme where it's like the girl that sits like this while she's driving. Oh, it's oh, like with the grade. with the foot up, with the foot up on the dash, yeah, and the other leg driving. out the window, yeah, driving with her knee, smoking marble reds, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. That shit's funny. As a high school student, it's like <laughs> three XL baggy shirt. She's been through some. <laughs> Listening to TLC talking about. <laughs> yeah. I don't want no scrub. <laughs> Chasing waterfalls and stuff, girl. Who are you? You're born in 2001. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about, man? <laughs> oh man. Hey, 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 hey. What's up, what's up? I'll tell you what hey. we're talking about. I'll tell you guys what, what we're talking about. about. I think this is going to be an interesting one, and I hope I hope you guys really participate. So get ready. Dom just slammed another one. I hope he's ready for this one. So, car- like, cartoons when you watch when you're growing up. Cart- cartoons. Oh, wow, like, What's your man. favorite? Throw some at me. Like, Benjir. I'm going to talk to you right now, and I, 
Tell me. Time out a second. Did you hear what he said? What he said? I said Ben and Jerry. That's ice cream, right? <laughs> is there a Ben? What is it? Ben 10 or Ben? Which one? There's a couple of Ben's. He said, he said, what's ben, your favorite? He's thinking ben, ice cream oh, right man, now. over here thinking about ice cream. <laughs> what's his favorite Ben and Jerry's? Three, two, one, go. Don't think about it. Favorite Ben and Jerry's ice cream? Oh, the cookie dough. Just regular cookie dough? Yeah. Man, that's like, my favorite TV I like show, most, too. Yeah, I like baked. What is it called? That's a... <laughs> Half-baked? Half-baked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is, is Tom classic. and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. Wow, how did you get Ben Wait. and Jerry? Oh, <laughs> That's worse than what I was thinking. You can't even fuck that up. <laughs> Tom and Jerry? What are you... What? Man's muscle. Man's this man was has thinking not about lived. This, this, this episode needs to be named Bethard Needs to Live. Like, <laughs> resuscitate. If <laughs> found dead. Like, Tom and Jerry... What was yours? That's good. I like Tom and Jerry. Yeah, Tom and Jerry is a classic. I don't. I didn't really think of a favorite. I'll give you one in a minute. But mine so was. So you brought this up. The topic. Even no, being no, no. Much. It wasn't. It wasn't about the favorites. The topic was, which ones fucking scared you the most? Like, Courage, Courage the Cowardly, Cowardly Dog, dog bro. Yeah. Dude, watch YouTube 100%. and watch top ten Bruh. scariest episodes. That shit was. Whoever was wild. making that, I want to meet him. I seen the guy's face. Like, I seen the two oh, people really? that did it, and like, nutty. You can just search them. I don't remember. They just look like two fifty year old guys. That's that crazy. Tripped bro. a little too hard during the seventies or eighties. All the kids. Do we all agree on that? That was the scary. It's scary now. Cartoon. I can't go back and watch it like PTSD. If I see that on, what were some good ones though? Sleep. You know what? Which one I never really got into. I watched it a little bit, but wasn't a big fan of it. Uh, hey Arnold. Oh, yeah. I'm not hating on it, but like but I was that never was big that was like it. early. That was like yeah, we were young, young when Arnold. What about out. Cat Dog? Uh, we were still young. Yeah, no, we were still real young. Rocket Power was my shit. Rocket yeah. Power, I can relate to. Yeah, Rocket, Rocket Power, Power, I really liked. Did you guys watch Batman the Animated Series? Obviously. Did you watch about a Cartoon Network? Because I never did. Uh, no, I, I was didn't. bigger on Nickelodeon. I'm such a Nickelodeon yeah. grow up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 100%. Do you guys stay I, up I was not for Nickelodeon? There were some people that are watching Cartoon Network growing up in the early 2000s. They're are the people up shooting now. up against they're, schools. They're, like, the, they're, the, so they're the motherfuckers up. living in Florida but right they, now. They like Curse and Cowardly Dog. That's what I'm saying. Like, They are the... They... No, I'm against, like, I want one person to come in and prove to me that they watched. Well, I wasn't Cartoon against. Network. I liked Courage of Cowardly Dog, but it scared the fuck out of me. Um, I'm trying to think of what other. What was Cartoon that show? Network. What was that? What was that show that was on Cartoon Network that was like it flicked through the channels? Turkey. It was Robot Turkey Rob, or, uh, uh, Robot Chicken. Robot Chicken. Yeah, but that was Adult Swim though. That wasn't Cartoon Network. Uh, oh, hey, that was weird. If but that was another one that was fucking Dude, they had weird. it on, like, Netflix or Hulu for a little bit. Or, or uh, um, what was the one with the shake? <laughs> the shake. Oh, oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah, uh, and Meatwad. The Meatwad. Meat oh, <laughs> Meatwad. Little Meatwad. I can't remember the name. God, God right Dom's now. a little Meatwad. Aqua. Aqua Hunger Force. Force. Teen Aqua Hunger Force or whatever. Something like that. Yeah, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, that show was crazy, with Carl. too. Carl was next door with his pool. <laughs> smoking six with a stained yeah. pool. What about, yo, you know what? I always get hate for this. I love Spongebob. Um, yeah, Spongebob's <laughs> a real there. one. But I always get hate for this one. I was never a fan of uh, Ed, Ed, and Nettie. What? Same. 100%. Hated we it. Never did. Because it was never on TV. We never made it no. home from school to watch it on TV. No, I, I was just never, never a it. fan. There's like four seasons of it. I've only ever seen three or four episodes. You guys are crazy. If yeah, you no, I was never a fan Why? of it. Why? Like, if Spongebob was on in Ed, Ed, and Nettie, I'd go to Spongebob. 100%. Yeah. <clears throat> Eddie, yeah, Eddie, you guys really I just wasn't the biggest fan of it. Um I could never get into it. What was like your like when you think about it, it was just not I funny. Think it was weird. No, I just I thought yeah, I just I just thought it was odd. I was just never uh, big into it. I never really I don't even think I ever really Okay, gave it a so gave it a I chance. I loved uh Fairly Odd Parents when I was young. Oh yeah. When I was younger, yeah, yeah. But yeah. looking back now, Fairly nah, Odd Parents was, was corny. It was corny. It was a little yeah, weird. It was, it was a yeah, nah. I just think I was I, I was, was like yeah. against Cartoon Network, hundred percent. It was just weird. What about Dexter's Laboratory? That was bomb. Yeah. That was. I always was looking was, for my secret yeah, laboratory yeah, yeah. in my house. That I was, was like Cartoon yo. Network. That shit was Johnny that, Bravo. Uh, never got into that. I watched really? it, but it was just. Yeah. Weird. It was, I watched Johnny Bravo. It was a, a weird bit. show. Yeah, Cartoon Network had some. Oh, you all ever <laughs> watch the Animaniacs? No. Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack. Animaniacs? No. What's that? I thought that's where you are going with it. Nah, the, um, fuck, I'm not going to be able to remember. What's the, uh, damn. The Animaniacs. Y'all know the Animaniacs? You remember, uh, Foster's? Imaginary. F yeah. <laughs> the big blue. I was never big into big that head. one either. Foster's Imaginary, so imaginary you Friends. Of, I watched a lot of Nickelodeon. You know, wait, wait. Bro, do y'all remember, um, the fucking, <sighs> okay. I'm a. All right, I'm gonna have to throw it back a little bit. McDonald's, drive-through, Happy Meal. Okay. 
At one point, they used to give VHS tapes. <sighs> that was before my time. Oh my god! Do you know anything about that? I don't. So, I don't. so, so they were looked like they were like they would move. They were movies, but they were like Ronald tape. McDonald's. It was no, a it, was like, tape. it was like Ronald McDonald, <laughs> the Hamburglar, um, and all the characters, right? I know you're talking and they about, had yeah. like a Halloween yeah. one, and they had like a fucking bro. Those were my. I That's still what got you're gonna tell your kids I about. I guarantee you. I guarantee you, they're in the other room right now. Those VHS tapes were the bomb. I loved those movies. So it would start out as like a live action creepy ass John Wayne Gacy looking clown <laughs> talking about <laughs> Ronald McDonald's this and doing adventures or whatever, right? And this weird little hand. And then it would get animated, and the animated ones were lit, dude. I man, so that's fuck got me Nickelodeon. Feeling. He's getting kids meals, <laughs> McDonald's for six bucks, <laughs> and he's a little asshole because he knows kid meals are always more than just getting a regular cheeseburger and a fry. He but he's like, VHS let me get that VHS. I wanted the VHS tape. How is McDonald's capitalizing off of that? Like, they're putting out, they're putting out their mixtapes. They put out their mixtapes so Dom can watch them in his basement. So I can watch them in my basement. Not at the time I was watching them. I wasn't allowed like down the steps. Down the steps. Yeah. You were toddler. You remember something from being three? I'm trying to think of any of like the shows I was like watching. Yeah, because you seem like you didn't do nothing. I know, right? Well, I mean, I watched a lot and... of Batman and shit. Obviously. Yeah. I see, Who put I... you on with Batman? I think my grandma really. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't just come from a hard space of like I like Batman. It's a, my grandma really put me on with him. <laughs> Shout think, out day one. I think she really did put me on Batman. I mean, I just don't think I watched a lot of shows. Like I was like I always like yeah, I was me always too. Video, playing video games. Yeah. Like uh, the old see, old stuff like Duck Hunt. Bro. See, I had three brothers, so like if we had a video game system, it was like they were on it too. So yeah. I I was out back in my yard. Digging fiddling holes. sticks. I remember you, you literally put a spot on. I remember just fiddling sticks and like burying stuff and putting a little stick out of it. Like yeah. little cart. I used to try to make yeah. like structures with sticks. Like yeah. I remember after Holes came out. Remember the movie Holes? Yeah. Oh, after that came out, I fucking used to like want to go outside in my backyard and dig holes. And like I think about that shit now, and I'm like, this dumbass kid like passed me. This dumbass kid. What do you what do you want to dig holes for? <laughs> what do you think, I, I, Dom's like, thinking after about I saw that you movie. Don't treasure. Like, huh? Dom's thinking the treasure. Uh, there was no treasure. What you is he? Wait, 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 wait. Who do you what, think your parents would have came out and told you like what there's no he, fucking treasure? Like no, like what? What else are you gonna be doing as a four to twelve year old? Well, like was, what? I was like, yeah, I think I was like, I don't remember when holes came. out. What are you talking out, about? He's mad told. that he wasn't that he was out back digging holes for treasure. No, I wasn't digging holes, but I wanted to. What is he saying? I think your imagination killed after oh, that maybe. and now you're still stuck Dude, in that same thing with me memories I did the same thing, thing. and like, I love it what I, don't, so, I don't so hinder like, myself because of it the last like three years I've always like my childhood I've never had imagination but then like thinking about it a lot what? I, I feel yeah, like explain that more well. no so like you feel like you didn't have thought, as much as other people no I felt like I didn't like play like uh, like yeah. how kids now like imagine like with dolls and like yeah. Little cars. But then, yeah. I, like, you start remembering yeah. stuff. And I used to used to take Tonka trucks outside and dig in the garden. Yeah, that type of stuff. Mad, y'all remember... Stuff like that. Y'all remember Rescue Heroes? I remember that. Fuck. Remember Damn, son. Of it? Nah. They were action figures. Oh, um, uh, yeah. Nah, but... What is he saying, Holes? Oh, well, that's too damn bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, what were the little... Oh, what were the little alien things you would build, like, Legos? Uh, Bionicles. Yes, I used botanicals. To have so many of them. I never fucked figures. with those. Those were weird for me. Oh, I used to love them. The little army men oh, stand army up. Man. The ones that came on like a little platform. Oh, like the figure. Toy Story ones, like the green ones. Yeah, the green ones from like Toy Story. There was a yeah. there was a movie. Yeah, Toy Soldier or whatever. Do y'all yeah. remember what's the one movie? Oh shit. Oh man, it's like a it's like an action figure movie, and Toy they come Soldier. to life. No, 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 no. Um, Toy Story? Toy Story. No, no, no. No, not Toy Story. <laughs> a different one, but I forget what it's called. Yeah. Fuck. Thanks for, um... It's like a good guy in a bad... It's like... It's literally like the plot to, um... Toy Story. Die Hard, oh. but with action figures. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember what it's called. God damn it. I'm not gonna be able to remember. We can just fucking skip that. But, um... Yeah, man. Damn, we're getting nostalgic on this episode. Yeah, right. Shit. Bro, back. We should release it's this the on one. Thursday. It's one where we get famous. I yeah. Know, God. <laughs> damn. Talking about all kinds of shit. Everyone's gonna be listening. Dude, to like... cause man, dude. Oh, 
What? I'm saying due to a lot. It should be a drinking game. Dude. Now. But it's only because, like, a lot of things happen. Like, a lot of crazy things happened for us in the early 2000s. Yeah, they like lots yeah. of things happened and lots of shows. A lot of a lot of testers, a lot of things that were changing. That's true because the technology was new. Yeah. Oh. And the idea was new. Like let's do something different. I think in the early two thousands. So we lived that early nineties where it was like people were just like, "Fuck it, let's live today." And then early two thousands like, boom, it's yeah. fucking advanced. And then now we're twenty nineteen. And so the big thing that was we like, still haven't been to the moon. You know, the whatever. big thing that was like cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> still okay. haven't been to the moon. The big thing that was like the cartoons and like the animation and all that. Like look at like Jurassic yeah. Park and. Now I'm talking about Toy Story now or like uh, Nemo and how many like. How they had, they had yeah. like flip books like before they do the actual yeah, video yeah, on IMAX yeah, yeah. they have to do flip books for every scene yeah, yeah, yeah. and then put it to like the video yeah. or whatever yeah. bro not to change the uh, topic here and let's I'm taking it. a I'm taking a hard left left we turn. do this every time so just go um, let's do it run it so you know what I just got um, I just got uh, that black toothpaste you know what I'm talking about it's like about the it. high yeah, yeah. smile that's on whatever. every commercial ever that's yeah. what we should be yeah, on yeah, Instagram yeah. Yeah. bro <laughs> Bro, dead ass, best toothpaste ever. What does you know, it taste like? It, 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 Black it licorice? tastes like, no, no, no. It tastes like toothpaste, like regular toothpaste, but the aftertaste isn't existent. That is amazing. I hate uh, toothpaste. Oh, my God. Can dude. you eat after you use it? Uh, I, I drank a coffee. Literally, I had a coffee, brushed my teeth, and drank my coffee. No aftertaste. Really? Dead ass. Huh. And. So, huh. and it turns your mouth black Tell as me fuck. more. So, like... Doesn't it help your teeth, I was like, like, whiten? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I'm brushing my teeth, right? Anti-climactic and, right and now? And I'm in the... And I'm in the, um... In the bathroom, right? I'm brushing my teeth. Where and all of a sudden... <laughs> all of a sudden, I, like, open my mouth, and I'm like... Oh, my God. Because <laughs> it turns your <laughs> whole mouth is black as fuck. Like, it looks like I was eating tar or ass or something. I, every time I see that, I always think it, it... It looks like it tastes like charcoal. No, it doesn't. So, it just tastes like regular toothpaste. But it is a game changer. So, like, the feeling I got when I was brushing my teeth mid-brush, you ever clean, like, a tile floor with a rag? It's so good. That <laughs> New it topic, starts, rating product. That it starts squeaking. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. When it's like, squeak, squeak, squeak. That was what my mouth was making. That's the sound my mouth, my teeth were making when I was brushing my teeth. It's not like they were ripping never the felt, off. Never felt so clean in my life. What's that Outcast <laughs> song? So fresh, so, so clean. So clean. That's how my teeth felt yeah, and been yeah. feeling because of that. They don't sell that in grocery stores, do they? You have to order it? Nah. I, uh, yeah, what is up with you ordering I things? Talking about you need to save I didn't a little bit order of money. It. Uh, I was about to say, where no, are you no, getting no. this from? I, I forget oh, where you're I got ordering it from. toothpaste off the black market. That shit was, dude. I stole it from his girlfriend. There's a couple things, there's a couple things that have changed my, my the past week for me that have made my day better every day. One of them is that black toothpaste, <laughs> and the he's other, black and he's a little and, gothic. And the other thing is, is a uh, little Duval song. It's a oh. little old. Yeah. What's it called? Smile, bitch. That one. You know what I'm talking about? Heard of it. No, I don't know what you're talking. About. Really? Oh, I was can't play. It's called think... Smile, bitch. I'm a ladies' man. I don't yeah, think right? we can't play it. <laughs> no, we can't play it. But it's not. He's like, um, I'll live in my best life. Oh, I ain't got time. Yeah. I, I thought it was like Snoop, it's with Snoop Dogg. Right? Yeah, Snoop Dogg's in it, bro. Oh. I've been starting my mornings with that song, and I gotta be honest with you. Pumps you up. It didn't help today. It is. No, it normally did, it didn't help today, but it's been helping the past yeah. couple well, days. Well, speaking of music, you brought up a great point of artists being untouchable. Oh yeah, yeah. I was talking about this before the podcast. I was, uh, I, I was listening to something the other day, and uh, God, I was. Oh, it was R. You're Kelly. R. Kelly got arrested for Wait, something what? with sex trafficking or something like that. Yeah, like full on. Yeah, yeah, like full on. But so, and then I was at the gym. You're right. I was at the gym, and then Michael Jackson came on. I think it was uh, Smooth Criminal came on, ironically enough, right? <laughs> um, you just think about R. Kelly, and this comes on. Yeah, right. Are you, what do you mean? So, hold so on. So, what I'm saying is... before the story starts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in the gym listening... To the re- you don't have headphones in no, the no, gym? No, 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 <laughs> like, it was, crazy it was, person? it was, it was just on the, the speakers at the gym, like, it wasn't my music, yeah, yeah, I heard it while But you I was... still have a headset in? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, regardless of that. I thought you were from Florida for a second. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just got to thinking, after this R. Kelly thing, and then Michael Jackson came on, right after, um, I had seen that R. Kelly thing, I was thinking about a man, like... R. Kelly's canceled, right? R. Kelly's canceled that, by canceled. everybody. He has new songs he's put out. But There's yeah. maybe like three or four people in like each 
fifty square mile radius. That's like but but still him doing a concert ignition. though. Women love him doing well, concert. Hold on a second. Be grabbing his 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 time out package up on stage and stuff. Have you seen the videos? Time out. A it second. went viral. Time out. Because first of all, I'm not even gonna fucking lie. Like if ignition didn't come on right now, I wouldn't be like. <laughs> yeah, but but I right, love R and B, but I I don't respect R Kelly's man anymore. No. Fuck, fuck no. Hell no. So my point. Hold on. Let me get to my point. I love OJ though. So, oh, if the glove doesn't fit, you must have quit. <laughs> I knew that'd get him going. Um, nah. So, I, the Michael Jackson song came on and got me thinking. You know, R. Kelly's canceled, dead ass, by almost everybody, right? Dies tomorrow, nobody cares. All communities. All right, that's a little harsh. Michael Jackson oh. has been facing allegations, and I don't want to get into the allegations. Even when he's dead. But yeah. No, but man, even what I'm saying. Hold on. Before he was, he wants. before oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they didn't care then. They don't care now. Uh, right? I'm not sure you could no, just say the he could do whatever he wants. No, because the allegations were then, and like he lost what 10 percent of his crowd, and then the, the court hearings and everything's so over, and he's still saying, as famous as he is. All like, I'm, so what I'm saying is, is the allegations were going on before he died. Long. For years, right? Yeah. And then even still now, that documentary just came out. Whatever, yeah, Finding hammer, Neverland almost. or whatever the fuck it's called. Drop the hammer. Um, but people still will bump Michael Jackson. What do you mean bump? I mean religiously, that's my favorite artist. That's what I'm saying. And you have yeah. no problem saying Talk that. Talk about Sunday morning, but I'm cooking not, breakfast. Yeah. And Michael's who I'm but playing. But you're not going to find... You might find one person in the entire country that's going to say that about R. Kelly, yeah. right? Now, of course, not the same I'm not comparing yeah. Michael Jackson to R. Yeah. Kelly yeah, but musically. That's, that's for a lot of artists. But if you, but what I'm saying is, is like... So who does it for you guys then? If Michael Jackson was guilty... Just like R. Kelly's guilty, nobody's canceling MJ. Nobody ever really no. did cancel what do you mean MJ Jackson. was guilty. I think they pretty much proved it. Yeah, but long either way, ago. but he wasn't even canceled. Like nobody. But like, he came up from a rough. He came up from a rough family. Yeah, too, and this and that like, was before the cancel cancel culture we had like today. Like, yeah. like oh, he shunned. Yeah, yeah, like shit like yeah. that. That was kind of before that. But, but still, still, but even still, like still. I'm surprised. Like he so he's the best artist of all the time. The point of my matter. the point of my my thinking this was like. How how successful until you're untouchable? Like that makes me think like uh, like Michael Jackson's like just untouchable. Like he's one of those people because like you I mean, know he's you been have dead this for since what 2008? Yeah, 11 for sure. Years, I remember watching that funeral on TV. Yeah, years, I was in some, Florida. I could be completely no wrong, but I'm sure it's been a while. But <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, but my dad, uh, Michael Jackson is his favorite artist. He's my favorite artist too. Like <laughs> yeah, no, and I'm not hating or anything. No, but I'm with you. I'm just saying interesting, like, right? Like it doesn't. R. It, Kelly's done for for. I haven't even watched because I don't want to ever, bro. Let's compare something that's that's someone that's like on the same level as Michael. It's like the Jonas Brothers. We don't want to Popu- say something. No, no, no. no. Wait, 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 wait. Time hold out. Hold not on. Not popularity wise, or popularity wise. Yeah. Not by. What about? Music. Wait, wait, wait. You know that Kevin Hart meme? Hold on. Somebody, well, somebody come look at this. Someone, someone go, come somebody look. come look at this. Somebody, ooh, no, I don't, like, I don't like the Jonas Brothers. You just compared Michael Jackson and the Jonas the same Brothers. Sentence. But I will what give Joe fuck? Jonas, he's married Sophie from Game of Thrones, right? The girl that does Dark I, Phoenix. Okay, I don't know who that oh is. Oh my okay, gosh. I'm not a Game of Thrones... Uh, she does other movies. What she you, just did Dark what Phoenix, you, Mr. Superhero Guy. What do you What do you guys call like yourselves, <laughs> the Game of Thrones fans? You guys got a nickname or something? Dragons or something? You want both of you guys... Take your hats off and put them forward. <laughs> All right, and then talk to me a little bit more. Nah, but go ahead. Go ahead. So, look, I'm not comparing music wise because, quite frankly, I hate the Jonas Brothers. Let's you let should, him get his point out. Let him get his yeah, point okay. out. Let someone hear. What saying, with based this? on the number of people who follow them, I think Jonas Brothers are probably up there with Michael Jackson. Nobody no, is. no, I don't think person. that's accurate at all. I'm okay, sorry, Michael Jackson like in his this. prime, Jonas Brothers in their prime. No, nope. Maybe Justin Bieber. Maybe Michael. You want to know who? You don't know who competes. You want to know who competes? So I can put in perspective for you. People that have sold like the most records besides Michael is like Eminem. Like, that's who competes. And you you comparing Joe Jonas to, to Eminem? Eminem. Who else though? Let's think. I mean, you got Drake. Else. You got Drake up there. I don't know where Drake, he's at. You have um. Yeah. Who was it? There was another person. Um. Crap, I forget. I don't know. I mean. Oh, who's the guy that does? Um, I think Bieber would be the best comparison. No, not even that. Who does um? Oh, you got me yawning Bieber, over here. I hope man, the dude. listeners aren't yawning. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm hesitating. Right. <laughs> All right, we'll just skip it. But but Google, is he Google searching it? We can Google yeah. search who sold like the most records ever. So Michael Jackson sold 750 million. And he's million. above everybody by far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, but the, uh, I know my Michael Jackson. Stuff. Do you get what I'm saying though? Like, at what point of success do you reach where you're do just do top ten? Do top ten uh, untouchable? Uh, oh yeah, Billy Joel. I, who I hate, dude. I what? hate Billy Joel, man. Uh, man, get the fuck. Yeah, out. How many songs you know? Mine five. I know, five, maybe me. Yeah, anybody? I'll name any fucking. Button. I'll name twenty songs right now. Oh. That's interesting. Hold on. Yeah, but you also played the guitar and stuff, so no, I, no, that doesn't I'll, mean I'll, shit. I'll name. I'm also from New York, so I'll name twenty I songs right now. I know nothing about Billy Joe. I don't like Billy Joe. Ready? Honest. Twenty songs. I don't know if they want to hear that. No, but you can do a list. List on twenty <laughs> Billy yeah, Joe so songs. So right under Thriller, this is interesting. Right under Thriller is uh, Hotel California by the Eagles. Yeah, not burning up. By the Jonas yeah, Brothers, right? Screw off. Screw off. That was, we're was talking like, about single you know records. What? They've sold... There's, there's bands that have sold more units. Either way. But if we're talking about bands compared to Michael Jackson. Either way. The Beatles, that's not even the important... Elvis. Like... That's not even the important part. All I'm saying is, is like, it's crazy that, like... No, because you've certain, got to turn this into a thing now. Well, I'm saying there's, like, a certain point you can obviously reach where you're untouchable. Well, who's those people? The only people I think of is, is Drake, Michael. Really? You think of Drake that way? Drake is I don't think Drake is as popular as Michael Drake Jackson. has put out over 100 hits. Yeah, sure, but if, if Drake, words, if we found out Drake Drake was involved with child sex rings. I think anybody is, and that's just our culture nowadays. Like, no, 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 no. My culture wait, wait, wait. is that we are 100% fucking against it. Oh, that, yeah, like, yeah. Our culture is just like, I don't know. It, it, we're Man, past that, the era of that, people that comes, seeing that stuff. That with that cancel mentality. Yeah, it's like the can't Dude, yeah, hit yeah. it on the nose. We're like, yeah. before it was like an overlook mentality. It was like, oh... But like now with the millennials or the ex millennials that we talked about, mm-hmm. it's just like, dude, okay, they're so not putting up with shit. You were talking about OJ. Imagine if OJ's thing happened now. Hold on a second, because yeah, he killed his wife, though. I mean, and her, <laughs> yeah, but, and her man. But, but with that cancel mentality, people would just like fuck no. Now nah, we're talking about he's supposed to be the best football no. player ever. Cut short. You want to know because he why? killed somebody, and it's like, come on, time out. You want to know why he wouldn't be canceled? Why? Because OJ's on Twitter now. Did y'all see that? <laughs> So what about no. Trump? Hello, Twitter world. <laughs> Twitter world. Isn't that old? He's been not, on Twitter for that a little bit, right? No, like only a couple, couple months. months. Yeah, yeah he's a couple months. I've seen it. Yeah, he's on Twitter. Ain't but nobody he was wilding him. on Twitter. He's, he was wilding. on Twitter tweeting, I did that shit. <laughs> like, dude, he was on Twitter wilding. He wrote a book about it. That's no, titled, but I'm talking, it, okay. It, the book is, the different, book is titled, though. if yeah, I did book, it, this is how I would do it. Because unless they bring new evidence, you can't be tried again for the same yeah, but murder. isn't that correct? How, how, what so, kind of balls you gotta have to, to write a book? Keep on Twitter. After, the book? I don't care. He's on Twitter. You're talking about Trump's on Twitter. He ain't no motherfucking book. But OJ on Twitter talking about, yeah, I did that shit. The glove fit me the whole time. Like, I don't know. That man second didn't part, say those shit. But like, how, dude, he did say that I did. How, I, he said how can you have that. the balls to to murder two people? He's like seventy years old, dude. Who cares? Then not and then plead not guilty and fight and win and then after that we write like write eighteen a, lawyers write a book that's that's entitled if I did now, it. If you kill Bruh. your cheating wife or her man's, and then you beat it, I'm for sure writing a fucking book. What do you mean? I'm gonna make more money off this. I'm kicked out of the NFL now. What do you mean? Like, what else you gonna if do? If I did it. Oh, no. He's richer than he would have ever been in the NFL. Exactly. 100%. Like, oh, for sure. And then he gets out and beats up with his rich friends, and he's drinking on the bar where, like, these hot college girls are coming up to him when he first gets out of prison, yeah, yeah, yeah. taking pictures with him. Like, yeah, well, girls, 68. girls are, like, girls are into, like, dudes in prison. And, <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> remember, do you remember the meme going around? The uh, mixed guy with the really blue eyes? Yeah, I was just saying that. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, like a model yeah. now. He's actually like a model. Yeah, good for him. They, like, they like raised the up. funds to get shout him. Out, yeah, shout out to that man for turning his life around for real. Who knows? I don't know him. But. Yeah, no, who knows? We could be totally wrong. But if he did turn his life around, shouts out to him for really making a difference, you know? Nah, but that OJ thing is crazy. Um, so I don't... But yeah, no, my main point with that Michael Jackson thing was is like... But he's the only one. He's just kind of like untouched. Like, even with all the ac- accusations and stuff, like... But if they happen today... It could be the same. Yeah, but R. Kelly's didn't happen today. That video of him pissing on somebody came out how long ago? A long ass time ago, right? Yeah, but I'm saying, what if R. Kelly had the same popularity as Michael Jackson did? In that, yeah, I'm saying nobody has the same popularity yeah, as him, so nobody can compare. So. It. I just want to see like someone like like Justin, Eminem did Justin lots of drugs Bieber. and people overlooked that. He also okay, had shit with his woman. Do you remember yeah, when but Justin his Bieber... marketing also was, you know, like he, you yeah, know, man. cleaning out my closet was kind of like. You boosting it or not boosting it? He, he, he was boosting all of it. So, do you remember when Justin Bieber that. was all over the news for, like, crashing his car or something? Yeah, long, but that, that was, like, when he was barely famous. Like, what, 17, 18, He was still 19? famous, and that got overlooked. Yeah, when he was famous, he was, like, 14. But crashing your car ain't shit. We're talking but about people like, are touching little kids, and then he's talking about R. Kelly doing true. the same thing. Yeah, it's a little... But, like, nobody's on the... Fa- and nah, I, but... I, I'm, I, I don't want to sound like a prick here and, like, be like I'm overshadowing it, 
Because you're right. If Mike Will really did do that things, I haven't watched it because I don't want to taint his image in my mind. I heard the documentary sucked anyway. I heard it was pretty wild, but I just <laughs> I I don't want to like taint that image I want. I'm gonna just believe he didn't do it, which is awful. But you're right. He probably did, and he is a fucked up person with that. I'm not saying he did. I love or him. Did. I just no, love him. Not, but it's just interesting how it's different. Dude, you know all the I'm allegations. Saying? One of them. Was, uh, I mean, you shouldn't be getting accused in the first place if you're asking me. <laughs> asking me. One it's time like, it's not asking for an many. ID. He's like, he's like a 13-year-old child. Like, <laughs> so, it's clearly under the age. Speaking of having kids around, how many kids do y'all want? Wow. Oh. Dude, that was out of fucking left field. <laughs> I love left turns, dude. All we do is left turns. How many kids do you want? Christian, are you trying to tell me something? Bethard. I'm not interested. All right, not Delgado. Um, I love kids. I'm going to uh, start that off right there. I love kids. I would have, I would have, my, my mix, I would have, if I was allowed, I would have, I would, I'd, I'd like a five. What do you mean if you were allowed? You can't just convince your, your girlfriend to have five kids, dude. I guess. Or your wife, when she becomes your wife. But you can't just convince your woman to have five kids. What do you mean, I guess? What do you just, <laughs> he's going back to the Michael Jackson thing. No, I'm Kelly saying, I, I guess. guess. If I want to have five kids, if I, I will. If I have income <laughs> coming in, that we, wife and me, could stay home. So I'm you hit 40 and like all your kids are already grown up and you're like, let me just get that last one in there and you already have. Three. I mean, I see what you're saying. I think if I had to pick, I would say, <laughs> I'd say anywhere between like I'd probably want to have like three, negative two, and zero. a lot of my people uh, I work with said so they only okay. want like two. No, okay, no, you guys got the answer. So I'm gonna just shut the fuck up, I guess. <laughs> nah, nah. Well, you're taking forever, dude. Come on. Uh, zero. <laughs> In, in between, all back for that. <laughs> like, come on. In between zero What's your thing with kids, dude? and zero. Your kids yourself? I'm too shell. I'm I'm too shellfish. Short? <laughs> shellfish. Too short. Fuck you. <laughs> Is that where you're going? Nah, I'm too shellfish. Kids self- are gonna be I'm, taller than my three. I'm t- <laughs> <laughs> Not the jeans are getting from That's both why them. I don't want to have kids because I know they're gonna be taller than me. <laughs> you're making short jokes. Do you make short jokes about your dad? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Man, it's hey, coming buddy. around. Nah, but uh. Zero for na- right now. What about adopt? Right now. Okay, nobody's talking about right now. I'm talking about how many kids you want. What you want? Zero. Happy family. You have a nice home. Zero. I'm too selfish, man. Dom, who is gonna procreate in your family and have the same last name? What do you mean zero? You're not putting these things in an effect here in your mind. The what Santos name is gonna yeah, cease no, to no, exist. Wait, I think he has a solid point. What you I think ta- he has a solid point. He's he's saying that he's he doesn't not, want kids. He doesn't want to have kids, and there's a reason he doesn't want to have kids. Because of this world. Yeah. You, how about you two sit here and try to figure out what my answer is and why? Well, and you said I'll, I'll I'll just tell you <laughs> right at the end. No, you said you said you're selfish, and that's why you don't want to have kids. Yeah. And that could change, but right now <laughs> I don't see myself wanting to have kids. I'm I, there's too much shit I want to do, and like. Okay, I'm talking about when everything's done. You're happy. You got when your house. Done. You got your girl. Man, what they your say? Millions. What they say? What they say? The marathon continues. Oh my gosh, this guy. <laughs> I can't wait. Man, I can't wait. Not for man. real though. Like You'll be sick in your forties and be like, okay, not wish anything on you, but you'll be saying, man, I wish I had them fucking kids, man. Ain't nobody God, kicking damn, Santos. What are you wishing on me right now. <laughs> I don't think he will. I don't know. I kids, listen, um, I, I gotta be honest with you. This girl controls a lot of them, man. Er, Girls in, in general, like yeah, your girls can eventually like be like yo. Okay, I got a better time. question. I got a better question. Listen, my answer could change in the future. I don't know. Right now, I can't even think about having kids by the time I'm thirty. Okay, so because you... I got too much <laughs> shit I want to accomplish, and I don't want to push my kid to the back burner because that's what I would do because I'm selfish. I got a question for y'all though. I got a question for y'all though. This man is sensitive about him pooping with his feet up <laughs> in the stall. <laughs> if... Talking about I push my kid to the back burner, my seed. <laughs> if... I, don't, I don't think you thought about when it you have your first when you have your. First, when you have your first kid, you want a boy or a girl? That was what I was going if you were yeah, giving yeah, me a yeah, second. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. I, I'm not afraid of shit. I'm going to tell you guys that straight up. Okay. I'm not afraid of anything. I would love a girl. I'm a, I am I would love a little princess as the first girl. Yeah. I think girls are more mature. I think if I had like a, a 18-year-old girl and like a 12-year-old kid, I think that's a good gap. I think like, I don't know. I think it's good for a young boy to like, or somebody to follow a mature older woman who's like an only child for like six years and like really developed, you know, is my point. What, are you, what about you, Bethard? You scared? Going the opposite way. He's scared. You want a boy? I want a boy uh, first. I'm a manly man, too. Boy, I, mean, I, I think about sports. With, Sorry, I want, Catherine. I grew up with a sister that was three years older than me, dude. I want Change a, it up a little bit. I want a boy first. You're, you're a sweet guy because of it. I can see that. Same thing with our friend, Bob. Yeah. Same thing with... Um, dang, I was going somewhere with that. Somebody, somebody else I know. That Do was you like, think that's why, though? Do you think... It, oh, my girlfriend's younger. That's why I was going with that. Yeah. I don't know. If I if I did have one, if I, I I I was talking about this the other day with somebody I forget 
but uh, they were surprised too. But I would want a girl. You would. Yeah, dude. Okay. It's just a soft spot. It's a soft spot God for damn, like for a little dads, cute man. Little, <laughs> little damn, princess son. looking. And here, I was yeah. talking. I'm gonna get real soft. Here. I was talking with my girlfriend. I was like, hey, like if we did have a gr- have a girl, like whatever, like. The things that you would do, like, think about that. You and your girlfriend, right? Bro, you I'd, have be a relationship. In, I'd be in makeup every day. Listen, you have a relationship <laughs> You have a relationship with your girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. But then she could see the relationship you have with your daughter and see, like, mm. that's how you treat her. Let me hit your, your soft yeah. spot real quick. She'd be able to see that firsthand, like, oh, that's how he was treating me. Maybe you're a little jealous, but who cares, man? I got a little girl now. <laughs> I yeah. got more things to worry about in this world. Dead ass. Man, I kind of want a little girl. That's what I'm saying. See, you ain't think about these they're things. They're just little, like... Oh man! If I if I, See, I never thought about that. were to have one, that's what that's I, a that's amazing what I would thing to think about. Which is crazy because I always was like the opposite. Like whenever I would Every think about it before, is. you know, like oh, I want a, I want a boy. <laughs> but little boys are dickheads. <laughs> they are Even assholes. Even when they grow up, they're, they're assholes. assholes. They say mean things. I'm not ready People for that. People say, I oh, oh like, the kid, the, the kid would probably be cool up until, like, three and a half years old. <laughs> and, and then, then just after that, he's a shithead until he's fucking dead. So my dad <laughs> has four, <laughs> you know, we have four, I have three brothers, so there's yeah. four of us. And then we have one younger, younger sister. And, dude, he does things for, for her. And I'm just, I ain't jealous. I'm 20, I'm about to be 23. <laughs> I ain't jealous, but I'm a little jealous. Because she's only fucking 11. <laughs> And he does things for her. I'm talking about she's in all the sports. He's all going to all sports. the competitions. I ain't never seen him in no bleachers you know cheering me on. Fuck that. No. I'm, I'm pulling it out. I ain't never seen him out there. And he's out there. Dude, I'm talking about cheerleading gymnastics. Okay. He's out there you cheering know, her on. You know what I always say to my sister? Cause, so I have a older sister. I always tell her she was the trial and error and I'm the real deal. <laughs> and she's older, right? Is that what you said? Three years older. Yeah. Three years older? Well, that's kind of how so, it goes. Well, because I got, your parents are more mature and stuff, so it may just depends like, on I got to do stuff at this, like, she did stuff at certain ages, and I got to do more stuff at those certain ages. Yeah, that's how, like, my little sister is, like, that's how it kind of has gone. Yeah, because my parents had two older brothers that all got in trouble, and then when I came around, it was like, I was like, you can trust me a little bit. <laughs> I'm not going to follow in those footsteps. So for me, like you just said, like, I got to go to parties, stay out till one, and, like, they tr- and I came home. Ooh. Like, they trusted me and stuff like that. Oh, man. Delgado came out of the womb in his suit, your, we, in his suit and said, "Hey guys, just so you know, you can trust me. You I'll clean me. up after myself. Big dick energy. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be as a two month old. I'll be on time for my curfew. So I'll talk to you. What was your guys' curfew? What in high uh, school? Like they gave you the car in high school? Yeah. It depended. If we what's went, your curfew now? He's like, he's like, my, my curfew like, right now is until eleven thirty. It's like I'm out late right now. <laughs> if you met, I gotta my, go if, home. I gotta if, catch my curfew. If you met my mother and all my friends listening to this know how it is." If you met my mother, you'd be home by 11.30. That's not 11:30? bad. 11.30? No. But I'm telling you, first kisses no. don't happen until at least after 12. You had a party, listen, little young listen. thing. My first Gotta kiss happened kissing. at like 11 in the afternoon. <laughs> Same. Hold on no, a second. middle school Hold doesn't on. count. Let me get was it in middle school? It was I not know. in middle school. It was, bro, it was preschool, bro. It was, okay. Behind a plastic refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> Starting them early. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> talking about the Michael Jackson thing, dude. Come on. Where is he going with this? Nah, he's, um, a, he's he's the one initiating it. My, uh, <laughs> he's scooping up little boys like Tom. Oh god! <laughs> oh, he was preschool kissing. <laughs> my my uh my curfew was uh midnight, unless we were yeah, at, mom at, was our midnight. Mutu- at our mutual friend's house yeah. for the gathering. That As we she knows had. or something. Uh, yeah. Um. Then it would be like whenever. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? See, mine whenever. in high school, mine was it was based on that though, like where I was. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I didn't party really at all you didn't party you know what i never understood hold on a second haircuts i got a question for y'all living (laughs) did y'all ever y'all ever have the experience with your with your parents when you were growing up like i'm talking like 12 years old whatever age it might be right but it was before high school most likely where like you would ask to hang out with a friend or something and they'd be like you hung out with a friend yesterday no like what about the one when you you accidentally you wouldn't be allowed to do anything that day because you did something the day before. Yeah, there's like this kind of, up of that's time the selfish yeah. parents. What, Dom. Kind of, what kind of fuck shit is that? <laughs> Yo, what about what about when you accidentally you were like you were at that like uh, you know going through puberty phase like 11, 12, 13, and you invited a girl over to your house like as a play date, but it wasn't a play date. And like my little brother was like 13, 14, and tried to get a girl to spend the night. And he was like, yeah, it's just my friend. Like, and he meant nothing of it at all. But we were all looking at him like, dude, like you're like. You know, 13, 14, like, this could, this could, this is just, this, you're good. at that age now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, play date when you're 8, 9, a little boy and a little girl can sleep together. But, like, you hit that, like, 12, 13, 
Yeah. It's like, no. Nope. nope. Yeah. Your mind's in nope. butterflies, but we're, we're thinking I like... I never spent the night at like girls' houses or vice versa. I don't think I did either, but I'm just Bro. saying the nude. You know what? Like my little sister dates with you know like what the, You know what I'm starting stuff? to realize, Bethard? You know those Amish people? <laughs> what? Those Amish people? Hold you on a second. The culture of people no, that no. exist? Yeah, I know. The, the I know Amish, Amish that's people. what I'm saying. The Amish people. That's what I'm saying, dickhead. <laughs> I know who they you are. Know, yeah. So they have when they turn eighteen or twenty one or something, they have Rumspringer. That's not every Amish. That's a different type of Amish, okay. right? What's Rumspringer? I don't know. What the fuck? Really? Ever? You don't hold on a. Se- he doesn't uh, tell him. Not. I'm agreeing with you. I'm tell about him. to turn red and flip this table over. Tell if him. I can't fucking get out what I'm trying to say. So it's hard. Rum- with a lip in your mouth. Rumspringer is like what kind of? Do you know what kind of Amish? He's asking me. No, I don't. But it's a different type of Amish. It's, it's uh, uh, Madame, uh, uh, uh <laughs> someone at M. Madame, <laughs> yeah, it's not really Amish. Amish Start speaking okay. pig Latin. <laughs> <laughs> Can you? No, uh, but it starts with like an M or something, right? It's something like that. So, anyways, not to get too off topic, but that that particular type of Amish person, when they turn eighteen or twenty one, they celebrate something called Rump Springer, right? Rumspringer is pretty much where they get to leave the Amish community and go experience the real world. Uh, bars, strip clubs, drugs. But they have a time frame to come whatever, back. Whatever, right? LaGrange. Whatever Holmes, it might be. and Lancaster counties. They're what are you who, talking about? They're what? the ones who celebrate this Rumspringer. Well, Those it's counties like... In, yeah, yeah, sure. I some of them. Sorry. So, they go out, so they go out in the real world and they like experience right. shit, right? Some of them... Good for them. Some of them come back. Some of them don't, I think right? This was a TV show, wasn't it? Yeah, there was something like that. Uh, yeah, Breaking Amish or some shit like yeah, that. No, that's exactly yeah, that's exactly what it was. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, nah, but so he's like, seen the show, but he doesn't know what we're talking. About. That was what they did, like, and they, that's when they didn't experience the world. Yeah. Right until Rumspringer, whatever was, age. So it you're was. saying you think I went through Rumspringer? No, I'm saying College? you have. No, no, no. I'm saying you haven't yeah. even gone through Rumspringer <laughs> yet. You just said you've never gone to a. So what have we learned today? You haven't <laughs> been to a barber shop yet, like a real one, right? Well, barber shop. What are these people at Supercuts talking you've about? You've never spent the night with a girl. Okay, I don't know about that now. Now I do. No, now you do. I didn't. Oh, that that didn't happen. happen in high school. Oh, yeah. okay. I feel okay. Yeah, well, yeah, I yeah. finessed it. No. It didn't just happen. You're right. I had to put in some work. No, I never do some. But had to put that. Had to put that tuxedo on. That fin- Listen, you <laughs> that guys, don't trust me. <laughs> I just staple. I just, I, I just I misunderstood taped it to my shirt. No, yeah, yeah, no, I, no. I think once I hit college, it's kind of. I yeah, but I think you're still in that Rumspringer process, is all I'm saying. You know? So you're telling Mamma that it. you're gonna you're you're bringing them to the dark side. He's officially joining the dark side. No, 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 no. no I'm bringing them to the barber shop. The barber. <laughs> That's it. See the, where it goes the from there. brighter side. Whatever he choices, he decides. I'm just trying to get that. man's a good haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Not that you have a bad one, sir. I'm just saying. Yeah, see, both of y'all have the same haircut, though. Kind of. Yeah, we. Kind and that's of, what I've been going doing. for, like long top, shaved back. But yeah, I can't do the. Talk about it right now. Look at me and Tom looking at. I can't talk about it right now. There's all different types of haircuts. We do kind of do have the same hair. No, you do. My, no, it's not. It's not at all. We'll talk about it after. Yeah, it's a little. It's like a fake. Mine's like literally a a, a, a bowl cut for a. It's it's like a it's like top. a what's it called an not an undercut. It's, it's a high fade. fade. It's, it's no, it's an yeah, undercut. Yeah, so he gets a high fade. I get like a. I a don't mid... get a fade, and the lady made a fade without me asking her for a fade. You gotta get a. So fade. you're starting there. What do you mean? You gotta, you gotta get, get a, a fade. fade. No, usually no, no, no. Usually I get what you. But yours are straight lines, though. No, usually what I get what you have, and they'll cut. They'll do one yeah. all it's the way around. Well, that's because that's because whoever cuts your hair at fucking supercuts. It doesn't know it's how to no cut hair. It's no longer cutting your hair. <laughs> that's the that's the issue. Well, when are you guys gonna get me a haircut? Listen, there's there's here here we go. There's places for anybody that's getting their haircut here. Stop. Sports clips, kids cuts. Unless you're five years old. Super cuts. What's that other one called? Any salon. Any. <laughs> Hold on, but the, the, here's the thing though. Down, nah, hold on, let me take Sussex, that back. There's not He's like making fun of my garage. Hold, hold on, let me take that back real quick. Yeah, there are no, some, we're with you. We're there with are you some salons that have some we're sympathizing for you. fire barbers in them. But go ahead. That's all. F- no, down in, down in Sussex, about? there's not like legit no, barbers. There's not a market for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, now you're, in, yeah, but now you're in Newark. There's a lot of white people. So the, here we go. This culture. Here. here we go. Here we go. You, now you're in Rumspringer. <laughs> you're in your Rumspringer. <laughs> Since I've you come need up to maximize. So, How many years of college do you have left? We need to maximize this Rumspringer. I have one year left. So now, this next year, we have a lot of shit to do. <laughs> so this is what I wanted to say this earlier, from the the pedicure thing. 2019. It's a little late for me to start doing new things, right? But I started with the pedicure, right? I'm gonna start saying yes to more things and trying new things. 
2020 is new things as much as I can, right? And that's what you're going to need to do. Okay? Ex- start my Rumspringer journey. Start your Rumspringer. Is that what we're naming this episode? Rumspringer? Yeah, Rumspringer? You might have to. <laughs> might actually have Bethard's to. Rumspringer. Instead of living your life, it's gonna need to, yeah, he, he gonna labeled need, it. We gotta get... God damn, man. You know, like, the house Patrick lives in? A rock. Off Spongebob? I'm not under a rock, dude. <laughs> a fucking rock? Come did you on. set me up for that? Or did you know? Yeah, no, that's what I was... I it think was a set up. I, it was a one-two punch. I just, one, like, I think I was just into different stuff when I was growing yeah, up. Yeah, no, And I not just for me differently. Like, well, it depends on who you're raised by, man. I don't like, you, judge you'll, anybody You'll never catch me out on a Friday partying. And that, that there ain't college. nothing and there ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I mean... There's nothing wrong with that. But we get a little bit of sugar in you. You might like a little bit of partying. I get a little sugar in me. You get around the right people, they they bring out the best in you, man. But see, I've never been a fan of like like partying, like like dancing, throwing like I don't know what to call like throwing, a frat party, throwing what? like whatever this. Nobody is likes fist frat pumping. parties. No, nobody likes frat parties. Frat parties Label suck. It here. The only people that like frat parties are college girls, and you want to know the only reason why college girls like frat Someone parties? Talk to- Be- no, not even. That's not why. Guys that have no personality. No, 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 no. That's not even why, because they know they're going somewhere where there's a bunch of douchebags that have no personality. We're- but there's free beer. It might be natty light, but it's free. That's true. Girls drink hey, for free. They don't I, pay. I'm missing out on these frat parties. <laughs> they don't pay. They don't pay for beer. They don't pay to get in. I would love to Bro. see the statistics on how much guys spend at college on on alcohol and how much girls do. No, oh, yeah, see, I bet that's you why your different. mind's not thinking rump spring right now. All right, let's let's throw all them statistics out the window and let's just become <laughs> those people. All right, is what you need to focus on. I, I was that person freshman year. We gotta take homeboy out one night. That's what we need just to do. Just with the gang. With the gang. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, boys. Well, we've been we've been going at it for a little bit now, huh? Yeah. Is there uh, anything else oh, we want to cover? Pretty much good. I don't think I got any. I don't think I got much else for this one. No. We covered a lot. I think we covered a good amount. Yeah. Bullshitted for quite a, a bit. For anybody time. that's still listening, we appreciate you. We appreciate your share. We appreciate your listen. If you guys have anything to add, please contact us. Contact us on Instagram, Facebook, anything. Just real quick, uh, we are working on some kind of merch. Uh, we're looking at koozies right now. Uh, yeah, that, shirts and sweatshirts and stuff like that would be in the future. Keep keep an eye out for that, but we're gonna need more people to start listening before we start <laughs> releasing stuff. Um, if you like the podcast, please follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and please share with your friends, your family, whoever you think would listen would like to listen. Um, oh, and hold on, if you're that person from Ireland listening, because I see you in there, you are three percent of our listening base. I think it's a few of you. I love you. Yeah, shout it's out awesome. to you. Appreciate that. Um, nah, but uh, yeah, keep it up. We're gonna try to keep it up and keep it fresh and keep it new for everybody. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, and that's really all we got here. Cheers, Cheers boys. boys.